Good morning and welcome to our daily prayer time for Thursday, April 30th, 2020. The month of April is just about gone and we're renaming this instead of calling it morning prayer. Many of you have told me that you join us at many different times during the day. For instance, my friend Warren listens to this at lunch and my friend Pat said I listen to it usually in the afternoon. So uh, it's not morning prayer for me, so we're going to start calling it the daily prayer time so that whenever you access this, it will be appropriate for you. We're turning to Matthew chapter 18, if you want to follow along in your Bibles. Matthew chapter 18, starting at verse 1. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be thrown into the depth of the sea. Jesus loved children and told us they were important in the kingdom of God. Today, uh, I am responding to a request from one of our folks in this way. She says, we need to pray for children and youth who are struggling to understand and cope with what's going on. Parents are feeling so inadequate in helping children cope because none of us has ever been going through something like this. She says, I'm reading more and more about this and seeing more and more comments about it. Can you pray specifically for them? And the answer is, we are going to do just that. Thank you for that suggestion. Let's pray together. Lord, on this Thursday morning, we thank you especially for children. And we want to intercede before your throne today, Lord, for those children or young people who are struggling with understanding what's going on in the world around us. We know that we're struggling, Lord, and so for those who have less experience or for those who are meeting special challenges of some kind, God, this can be very confusing and very uh, disheartening. So, Lord, for children who have had their routines interrupted, for those, Lord, for whom school is a good community and a good place, for friends and teachers and mentors, for all those children and youth, Lord, who are struggling to understand this, and for their parents and other family members who are struggling to help them understand because it's hard to explain and it's hard to adjust. Lord, be in the midst of those folks. Come and sit with us from time to time, Lord. Dwell within us by your Spirit. And for those children and young people who are struggling to understand all of this, who, who are struggling with hopelessness or who grieve, Lord, the loss of their routine or who grieve the loss of their uh, end of the year, the last quarter of school, for seniors, Lord, who are grieving the loss of a graduation ceremony, they, the way they thought it would happen, um, for all of those grieving these losses, Lord, or trying to adjust and really struggling to understand and cope, uh, especially with them, O oh God, walk closely uh, whisper in their ear, Lord, speak to their spirit, and especially touch them with your salvation and your love and your mercy. We need you, Lord, and especially we lift up these whom we love and we know you love. This we pray in the sweet and sacred name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us today on these daily prayers. We're glad that you're here with us. Remember, to send me any suggestions you may have. I would love to uh, respond to suggestions just like we have the last couple of days. Send them to Pastor Jim at trinityumchurch.org or call me in the office at 410-535-1782. I have been here every day, hope to be here every day until my assignment changes one way or the other. Thank you for joining me this Thursday, April 30th. God's blessing on you. May you walk with Jesus everywhere you go.